Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Metallica Master of Puppets lyrics. Now, it's uh, quite ironic that this one was posted by the channel Mother Russia Mister. In case you don't see it right there, um, to me that's actually hilarious. Now, we've done um, uh, one so far, the song One by Metallica, and we've also done uh, Andrew Sandman, both the studio version and the live version, so in case you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I heard that Master Puppets is one of the most popular ones, most of, one of the most popular songs in general. I mean, this one alone has 148 million views, and I've also heard it has quite the long intro, so let's go. Just so you have a little bit of context, I grew up listening to mainly Rammstein or rock slash metal in general. Um, I'm from Germany and um, honestly Metallica is, believe me or not, but honestly I don't think I've ever really talked to a heavy Metallica fan in, in Germany. I have don't have that experience, just in general, honestly. Um, People, people here talk, like, they listen to a lot of music, but rock, even if they listen to it, they don't like to talk about it. Kind of strange. Okay, so what do we have so far? We got End of Passion Play, Crumbling Away, I'm Your Source of Self Destruction, Veins That Pump With Fear, Sucking Darkness Clear, oh, that's a good one, Leading On Your Death's Construction, Taste Me, You Will See, More Is All You Need, More Is All You Need, Dedicated To How I'm Killing You, Come Crawling Faster, Faster, I like this, Obey Your Master, and then your life burns faster, obey your master. Okay, I did look up the meaning of the song before, and we're gonna, gonna get to it in a minute. It's actually quite um, interesting that this song 
we're just we're only three now the intro was about 45 seconds long we're in it three minutes now in total and there's still five and a half minutes left now just real quick i looked up the meaning and it seems that uh, it is about let me see this again it is about um here the song is lead singer james hatfield by the way in case um because i'm sure many of many of the people that are watching this are actually diehard metallica fans how many of metallica like how many people in the metallica band are actually doing the singing because honestly this voice sounds like his voice right now sounds so different from the enter sandman voice like of the of the front guy um but it seems that jade james hatfield lead singer okay lead singer so there seems to be another another singer is there someone else i'd be very curious it's pretty much with drugs how things get twi switched around instead of you controlling what you're taking and doing it's drugs controlling you it is what it is definitely let me know though What's going on? Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Let me go back to the lyrics. I'm in goosebumps right now. Oh, shit. Totally didn't expect that. This is the type of soundtrack you're you're cruising down the coast of California, you have a cab cabriolet or something like that, and you honestly you just this is like it's 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 starting to dawn, you know, it's getting darker or so, but you still get the the like last half an hour of of the sun. That's the type of shit I would li I would listen to if I did that. Heavy. Honestly, this song, th this song is pretty much like five songs combined to one. It's actually incredible. I mean, you got from heavy guitar solos to some amazing intro. I mean, to some heavy shit. The transitions are really smooth and are really enjoyable. I gotta say. <laughs> Oh 
Pujas. definitely um very clear like if you know i just i just read out what it's about it's basically about drugs you know how drugs are taking control over you and you don't even notice it um all of a sudden it's your master you're not the master anymore you're not making you're not the one who's making the decisions um it's pretty clear like once you know the meaning it's pretty clear if when you look at when you pay attention to the lyrics um Honestly, and there's another thing I just noticed. I'm I've been looking at this cover the entire time, honestly, because there's nothing else to watch, nothing else to look at. Now there's a bunch of crosses. There seems to be something sludged over one cross. Um, maybe you can see it right here. There seems to be something there. I don't know what that is. Maybe a scarf or so. But I just noticed all oh, the Metallica, Metallica here. Uh, you got the logo. But actually, I just noticed like halfway through the song that there are some st like there are actually strings to all the graves and to all the the, the 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 gravestones and in the top right and left you get those sausage looking fingers well not sausages they're actually fingers now i don't know if i'm the if i if i'm the only one who who's uh, who's taken that long to notice that but hey better late than never Alright, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this was definitely the longest song I've ever listened to. Um, honestly, I think the longest one I've listened to before was maybe five minutes, something like that. You know, five and a half. I mean, don't get me wrong, rock and metal is, are definitely one of those genres, especially metal, where it seems that five minutes is almost average. Uh, now, obviously, this was this consisted of a whole intro, and then, you know, I think, but then again, it's five songs in, in one. Um, great song great song um i am not uh, i am not the one to uh, know too much about instruments uh even though i've played one myself believe it or not um but uh it wasn't a, it wasn't a guitar though it wasn't a guitar at some point i definitely want to teach myself how to play a guitar and honestly if you guys know how to play the guitar and you, you're able to teach someone hey hey you know uh it's a great song this is the type of song i would listen to like Every couple of days, every couple of days. I'm not gonna lie; it wouldn't be something that I just uh, uh, listen to on repeat in the car. Definitely not. For that, it's just too long for my taste. Um, but over overall, got some great solos, a great intro, some nice smooth transitions, heavy shit in between, and obviously a text that you know, not maybe not too original, but the word not the wordplay here and there, you know, is is kind of nice. So. Guys, definitely let me know what is your opinion on this song. I'd be more than curious. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if there's anything else you would like me to react to, write the title of the video down in the description. I'll go check it out. On that, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. It's been amazing for. Let's keep growing this channel. Take care. Bye-bye.